guys. What's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm just now starting to spin. As you can tell, I'm not sweating yet. Just started. It is a hot, muggy, humid Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So, I'm probably not going to film the entire 30 minutes I'm on my trainer here. But we will have a little bit of workout time together. And a couple of uh, topics for discussion along the way. Uh, as you might know if you keep up with my channel, and if you don't know, I've recently stopped cycling uh, because of certain traffic conditions on certain roads that I'm just tired of dealing with. And along with that, uh, time constraints, because uh, I not only cycle, but I work out and I walk every day. And I do other things every day. So uh, I just cut out cycling on the road and I cut it down to 30 minutes and uh, on the spinner, on the trainer, and so far, I'm doing pretty good with it. It's too bad that uh, motorists uh, make it to where you just can't enjoy being on the road. Too bad. So, uh, a couple days ago, uh, the new He Man Netflix original series came out uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation. And uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. There's a lot of people that don't like it, and they're throwing a fit. Acting like a bunch of spoiled babies. And if you don't agree with them, they jump all over you, attack you, call you ignorant and stupid and all that good stuff. It's a good show. I can't wait to see where it goes. Plus, I've started collecting the action figures and, uh, Got a few things going on. These extremist fanboys out there ruin everything. You know, if you want your, if you want everything to remain the same, then what's the sense of making anything new? They don't want original storytelling. They don't want to break the mold a little bit, and break character. Everything has to be exactly how it was. And even then they would complain. I watched it twice. They released five episodes and I watched it twice in one day. I enjoy it pretty good. I made a video about it too, talking about how I enjoyed it and how it's not uh, completely woke and you know all that. And got some backlash, of course, and, but I got a lot of views on that video quickly within 24 hours. Heaven forbid you enjoy something. Hmm. 
Well, we have one more week before school starts. It starts next Monday. So we have this week and then the weekend. And we start back Monday. So I did a little live streaming last night on Facebook. I played a little bit of Step Mania. Those of you that don't know it, Dance Dance Revolution on the computer. It's where you have the pad on the floor and you dance the music. And you gotta get the arrows and all that. I love playing that. I used to play it all the time. I broke my pad out a few days back and installed the program and all my songs and all that. And I've been enjoying that a little bit. Good exercise. I did it for about almost an hour. The video itself is about an hour and six minutes. But there's a few minutes in the beginning where I'm setting stuff up. And then I had a hiccup kind of in the middle. And then at the end, you know, I'm kind of talking and uh, kind of closing out the video. But I did probably at least, uh, at least 50 minutes of it. So I got a good workout. And had fun while doing it. You can go check out that video. I, uh, I live streamed it on Facebook, but I uploaded it to my YouTube. Just for a little extra content. Something a little fun. You can go check out my playlist as well. You'll find all kind of good stuff in there if you will. Try and push out my channel. Push out my videos and support me. Uh, get me out there. I feel like I'm a decent fun, diverse, interesting channel and personality. So I've been doing pretty good with all my training and taking care of myself. I feel pretty good. Uh, a lot better than I used to. I noticed uh, it was probably last week or so, I noticed I could actually clip my toenails and breathe <laughs> and reach my toenails. I was losing a little bit of weight there. I, I might put on a little bit uh, because I'm not riding my bike, actually. You know, and that helps to keep some calories and all that burn. Keeps you in pretty good health to some degree, so. This does okay, but it's not the same thing at all, not even close. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I took off Wednesday from all my exercise activities. Uh, we had our, you know, school bus driving class in service thing Wednesday. and. Uh, I just decided to take that day off because I just, anytime I got to do that or in service, it just kind of ruins my day. I don't like going and doing that. So it just, I thought, you know what? I'll just take the day and not do anything. Uh, and just relax. So. But yeah, I usually am going six, seven days a week. Just depends on how I feel. Sometimes I might work out two times a day with the weights. Sometimes I might spin twice a day. Sometimes I might walk twice a day. It just depends. So I watched an old movie last night from the 50s. It was an old Alfred, uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie. It was called uh, Dial M for Murder. I was introduced to it by another channel that I watch on YouTube. Uh, the J-Man's Movie Cave or whatever it is. I'll put a link in the, in the description. Uh, he covers a lot of cool content. A lot of different movies and uh, music and that kind of stuff. He's a really nice uh, guy. But uh, I watched a 
a live stream of him and another girl. Uh, you know, they were watching the movie and streaming it so we could, you know, at least see their reaction and talk about it and all that kind of stuff. I wasn't watching the movie at the time, but I was joining in the live stream. And, uh, yeah, so I downloaded it that day, that night. And uh, I finally watched it last night. And I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. So much so, in fact, that I'm gonna do a discussion on it, on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. I don't typically watch a lot of older movies. Uh, I have found that, you know, whenever the pandemic started, I started doing kind of weird, different things. <laughs> and uh, I did, actually, in 2020, in some of 2021, have watched, like, really old movies from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, stuff like that. And uh, you never know what you're going to find. It's a, a whole different era, a whole different time. And the uh, movies are so different, the actors are different, and just everything about it. Back in early cinema and early TV, uh, everything was so different. That's not saying it was all better or anything, I'm just saying it's really different. So, you know, once in a while I'll go back anymore and kind of scope out uh, something old, just random, uh, just a random search you know, on YouTube or a movie channel or something, and I'll, I'll watch something just periodically that's really old. So, pretty cool. I think I've done a couple maybe discussions in that on uh, some really old movies. Uh, if you want to check out my playlist, you'll see it in there somewhere. If you know how to go to playlist and work YouTube. Very interesting movie, though, and uh, I kind of look forward to uh, doing a little discussion about it. So be on the lookout for that on Mikey Sun TV. So yesterday, also in the midst of doing all the stuff I did. I also uh, beat Halo 3 ODST. I did a live stream of that on my other channel where I live stream video games. And that's Old Mental Pickle. O L D M A N T A L is one word, Pickle is the second word. And again, that's where I just live stream video games. So far, I've beaten Halo Reach, Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo ODST, and I'm going to be starting on Halo 4, uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. All of those games I've played and beaten, except uh, Halo Reach and Halo 3 ODST before. I've never played those until uh, playing them on the Master Chief Collection over the past several months. And uh, Halo Reach was good. ODST, not so much for me. And the only one of those games out of all those that I've played that I really know the most is Halo CE because I've played it the most, I've beat it the most, uh, a lot. The other ones, you know, I played through the story once and that was probably it. So, you know, a lot of it was new to me. Halo 2 had a couple parts that I remembered, but I couldn't have told you really when they were going to happen or anything. It's just that they were familiar. But, like, yeah. <laughs> I just don't remember all that stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment. Push on, push both my channels out there if you would. I have good content, guys. I even have t-shirts. If you're looking to get a t-shirt that is positive and promotes positivity and getting up, getting out, getting ready and doing it to it, that don't mean doing this. It means everything. That you enjoy, include video games. I have t-shirts. At the end of my videos, to give you a, a quick picture of what I got. I have a new design too. I have a new design as well that I did for my old mental pickle channel. It's pretty cool. My stuff portrays a positive message. $30 for a t-shirt that will last you 10 years, a good 10 years probably, so. Portrays a positive message. It might give me $10 by the time I pay for the shirt and shipping, maybe $10. Put towards my channel, put new things in my videos. Well guys, I just looked at my phone and I have less than a minute to go. First time I've looked at it. <laughs> so that's always good news. 25 seconds. Twenty. Got a good sweat going on. Ten seconds. Two, one. Guys, I'm not gonna let this go on much longer. <sighs> anyway, I hope you got some kind of exercise going on today for your mind, body, and soul. Have fun with it. Don't look at it as work. Don't look at it as just painful and horrible. Make it fun, guys, okay? Be an inspiration to others every day, all day, some way or another. Ride a bike, work out, go for a walk, a hike, go spelunking, go diving in the ocean, do something, go hunting, fishing, uh, play some disc golf, some golf, go bowling, throw some darts, play some pool, draw, color, paint, do photography, put a puzzle together, watch out for a wasp. Uh, do something interesting. Do something fun. Play video games. Challenge yourself, okay? <sighs> Alright. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to both my channels. Mikey Sin TV and Old Mental Pickle. Support my channel. Push me out there. Would you go away, wasp? I'm gonna eat that thing. That's what she said. Alright. Buy some t-shirts. Buy some hoodies. Do something, guys. Help a brother out. I've got probably about a thousand videos out now easily on Mikey Sun TV and I have quite a few going on on Old Mental Pickle so I do a lot of work guys and I try to be entertaining and decent fun and a positive person all right by the power of Grayskull get up get out get rad do it to it have an awesome day we'll see you next time guys Mwah. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!